Hello. Are you met? Yes. Perfect. Then you're entirely right here. So please, please take a seat and tell me about your discomforts. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Tell me more about it. Well then, I'm going to ask you a few things and we'll see. So, you said you have to think about me since you came here with the uneasy feeling in your stomach, right? Is it getting better? Yes and no. Um, well, could you please explain that? Uneasy, but not in a bad way. Like, butterflies? Hmm, really interesting. Really interesting indeed. Go on, go on. Something else that you didn't tell me about? Don't be shy. Just, just tell me. After all, I'm your doctor and I mustn't reveal your secrets to anyone else. So, go on. I won't judge. Not after all the things I've heard and seen at this point. You dream about me. That's, that's rather unusual. Uh, what do you dream about exactly, if I may ask? Uh, okay, uh, I understand. I understand. Um, uh, something else I need to know? You want to make a confession? Uh, go on, I guess. Oh. Uh, and now it's actually an untypical behavior. Uh, you see, normally you don't write from fiction about your doctor, you know. But it's fine. Uh, I'm fine with that, totally. Definitely. Um. Now, let me do the calm checkup. Would you be so kind and... Yeah, thank you. Okay, this might be a bit cold. Okay. Now, breathe in. And out. One more time. Breathe in. And out. Hmm, that's a bit concerning. You know, your heart beats rather fast. A bit too fast. But but it sounds healthy. Uh, it's normal for the patients to be a bit excited, embarrassed, and therefore a racing heart. But still, your heart is beating really fast. And let's check your pupils. Oh. They are surprisingly widened. Wait, it's it's everything but dark in here. Hmm. I'm going to check your reflexes with this little lamp, so this might be a bit uncomfortable for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, it looks good. Nothing concerning. Uh, before we continue, I think I'm pretty sure what your real problem is. No, no, don't be scared. It's it's nothing serious. I promise. It's it's just you. You are lovesick. You fell in love with well. Um, me. Uh, that's why your body and mind is acting all kinds of weird. But but we can do something about. That. I'll give you this medication, and you'll need to find a girl, or a boy, or whatever. Um, we'll fix that, I promise you. Let's see. Um, wait. You... You don't want to fix that? But, but at the beginning, you were complaining about your symptoms. 
No, I, I didn't quite understand. You tricked me. <laughs> oh, you just wanted to see me again. Uh, I think I'll just give you the prescription for the for medicine and, and we'll see each other next week at the same time, okay? You don't want to leave yet. Well, but I have my next patient in about um, 10 minutes and I need to prepare and... What, what are you doing? You're not supposed to do that. Hell. Please, please. Please don't hurt me. I see that you're armed. I can clearly see that. Don't do something you'll regret later. Think about me. You wouldn't want to hurt the person you fell in love. So, please. Put the knife down. We can, we can talk about everything. If you put the knife down, I, I won't call police, okay? Okay? Put it down, please. Oh, of course, of course. I, I can hold your hand, of course. Fine. See? Now, now, give me the knife, please. Come on. There we go. It's okay. Nothing happened. No one is hurt. Calm down. It's okay. Right, I don't hate you. No, wh why would I hate you? You want to make another confession? Uh, uh okay. Um, I, I won't be angry now. No, no. You wanted to kidnap me? Yeah. Well, I guess your plan failed. N nothing, nothing. I, I said nothing. Uh, what about we leave this building? Huh? Um, next week we, we can we can talk about your hopefully improved state. <laughs> Perfect. Right, let's leave. Please. Is Something is rather off about this. They all act the same. Hopefully that was the last one. I feel like this is another one of Laura's experiments. We'll see what the future.